Hello and welcome back to my scrap room. My name is Jennifer Perry and today we're going to do an unboxing of a painting that I was on the fence about until I figured out that it was about to be discontinued. Now before I get started, today's going to be a little interesting because I am pet sitting again, which means I have puddles and I have Shoney and I have biscuits. Now Shoney and biscuits are true brothers or litter mates and <laughs> The moment they're being good, but let's see how well this works out. And then Puddles is just a snuggle bug puppy, but you may hear from her from time to time. It is a Diamond Art Club, and it is not bad, just drawn that way with AB, and it is a square. It is a 47 by 82. So let's open this up and see what I have. Again, this is one that I was on the fence about. I liked it for its just memories factor. My sister is 16 years younger than I am and this movie came out when she was a toddler and she wore the movie out on VHS. She could quote the movie, we could quote the movie, and I didn't even live with her. She just wore it out. Okay, so the first thing in the box is the toolkit. So there's the standard toolkit. Tweezers, pen, tray, wax. There's all the diamonds. Excuse me if I sound a little winded. I had to run up and down the stairs a few times. So, I'm a, a little winded. And I'm highly allergic to Shoney. Oh, I'm sorry, Pedals. I didn't mean to throw that at you. I'm sorry. It didn't go anywhere near you, though. I am highly allergic to Shoney, so that's why I sound like I have a cold. I'm going to sound like I have a cold the entire time he's here. But he's such a snuggly kitty. It's there's the bottom. I have a feeling this is going to be wider than my frame can take. There are 39 colors. There is the sticker. I need to remember that this has a coupon code, code on it somewhere. I always forget and then I don't use it. Where is it at? Step by step. Where is it? Somebody said there's a coupon code on it. I don't see one. Is it in here? Nope. This is an older painting so there may not be one. Okay, let's just hold back and I'll back. So here it is, and actually I don't think this is any bigger than Hello Beastie, let's see, where's Hello Beastie, Hello Beastie 47 by 63, and this one is 47 by, oh, by 82, okay, so it's longer than Beastie, okay. And Beastie's around, but that's all I could get it in was around. This is a square. Holy cow, look at that. This is beautiful. Now, the wrinkles you see is just in the cover plastic. It is not on the canvas. And I guarantee the canvas is already here because of the cats. Yep, this is absolutely gorgeous. Now the one thing I've noticed with the Diamond Art Club canvases, let's see if I can do it this way. Let's get my magnets out, shall we? This is where having a stainless steel tabletop works out beautifully. Okay, we'll do this part of it. One thing I've noticed with Diamond Art Club is the way that the canvas is made is almost like a soft velveteen type canvas and the way that I like to attach the canvas onto my easel does not work with Diamond Art Club. And what I ended up having to do, and you'll see it next time I film a whip and chat with Beastie, is I've actually had to thumbtack this directly to my easel. I've got a wooden easel so it's very very easy, but I normally would just take some blue tack 
with a regular easel and just blue tack it up and the blue tack will not stick to this canvas whatsoever. So with the Diamond Art Club canvases I have to, to tack them up but they are gorgeous, gorgeous canvases. The drill for a field is perfectly clear. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see. Scoot this up a little bit. There we go. Let me zoom in so you can see the drill field. So as you can see, look how clear this is. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so are there any weird symbols that I need to know about? Doesn't look like it. Okay, these two, but they're different colors. The greater sta greater sign, greater sign and less than sign, but they're different colors, so that should be okay. One's one's a pink and one's a green. Nope, no weird symbols. Nothing looks weird. Let's see, where is the where are the less than and greater than on the canvas? I'm having to look towards the bottom so you guys can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so there's the green ones. All right, so where's the other ones? There is this is the that one there. The other one should be I don't even see the other. One. Oh, there it is. No. Not that one. 211. Where's 211? I don't see the other sign. I see the green one. I don't see the other one. But anyway, okay, where's our, um, I'll find it when I open the drills. Which one is our AB? Because it says it should have one AB. I don't know which one that's going to be. Let's open these up and find out. It says it has an AB, but I don't see it. And normally it jumps right out at you. Ah, 128. That's it. Very first one. 128. That's going to be pretty. Okay, so 128 is sprinkled throughout the dress and the bodice area. Very nice. I am very, very happy with this. Of course, it's very green heavy because of the background, which will be a nice change because the Hello BC is a little bit more on the darker side. So this will be very nice to play with. Very, very happy. Let me do a quick inventory and then I will be right back and show you everything all inventoried up and how I put my journal together. Okay, so I'm going to inventory this one up a little differently than I normally do. I just made a copy of the sticker so that I can make notes on it. And I'm going to just run through it real fast and mark off the numbers because they don't tell you, I'm sorry, they don't tell you how many you're supposed to have with Diamond Art Club. I'm just marking that I got the color. Okay, and it appears that we have all of the colors. So let me double check. Now, why am I just making sure that we've got all the colors? 
I'm not going to be working on this painting for quite a while. I have several in front of it. So the reason I'm making sure that I've got all the colors right now, I just received this painting yesterday, but it was late in the day, and I wanted to film for you, so I needed good lighting to be able to film for you so you could see. But I'm making sure that I've got all my drills right now so that if I don't, I can contact Diamond Art Club and go, hey, I'm missing three tens. Not I'm short, but whether I'm missing. From what I hear from past YouTubers, it is very rare that you do not have enough drills with Diamond Art Club. Or that if you do, whenever you figure out you don't have enough drills with Diamond Art Club, to email them and they will send you more drills. But I want to just know immediately, do I have the drills? Do I have every drill first to start off with? And if I do, I'm good. I don't worry about it after that until I'm working with the painting. Now, if you have a drill bank, this is where your drill bank comes in very, very handy because if you're short on any color, hopefully it's going to be in your drill bank. Um, I haven't filmed one yet because I don't really have a good drill bank yet. I've just started. But there is a YouTuber out there, Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, that has a fantastic video showing how she makes her drill bank and her extensive drill bank. In fact, she's doing a complete project with nothing but leftover drills. So hopefully if you've got a drill bank, that's where, that's why you have a drill bank, is if you're short 10, 12, even 100, hopefully you've got it in your drill bank and you do not have to contact the seller. So let me get everything put in this little pouch and then I'm going to run over and go get the hanger and put this on the hanger and have it the way it's supposed to be. But I'm going to... Whew, I am winded. I am going to put it all in this little pouch real fast and then I'll go do that. So hold on one second. Now, you're going to ask me why did I not leave those sausaged up? Because if I leave them like a sausage, they don't fit in the bag. I also will always put the tool kit in here to make sure that if it becomes a grab-and-go item for me, I at least have a tool kit readily available. So I like to keep everything that came with the painting together. So hold on one moment for me. Let me go get my hanging system, and I'll show you how I'm going to store this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this is just a pants hanger or skirt hanger. This one can hold one, two, three, four paintings. So what I'm going to do is take my painting and what I've done is I have a foam roller on this side to keep it rolled up but not creased. And as soon as it's pool season or, or pool noodle season, I will go buy a whole bunch of more of these and put them in my longer paintings. But what I'm going to do is just very gently, put Jessica like that, and then her bag will go like this. And it just hangs in the closet like this. So I've got Jessica, I've got the camera painting, and then I've got the world map. 
right there, which I need to get a pool noodle on world map. I don't have one at the moment, so that's going to be as soon as it's pool noodle season, I've got to go get some pool noodles. And they can hang this way. They don't get creased. They're hanging up in the closet. They stay fairly straight unless I'm having to roll it. And they stay dust free. And I'll, let me go put this away and I'll show you the journal. Okay, so last but not least is my journal. Now you know that I have my phone app that I keep most of the information on my phone app. I also keep it in this journal. So on this one I'm calling it Jessica Rabbit because that's what I grew up knowing her as. I know it's named differently for Diamond Art Club, but in my brain it's Jessica Rabbit. I ordered it on February 6th. I received it on the 13th. And then I've got started, finished, and then any notes that I may have with this painting as I'm working on it. So this is the journal for all of my paintings, whether I've started them, whether it was sent an error, whether I really didn't like it, because there's there's one or two that I've, I, I haven't even finished. I just didn't like the way they were coming out, so I didn't even finish them. So I've got notes on those and who I ordered them from. And this is just a little journal that sits on my desk as I'm working, and as things are fresh in my brain, I can write them down. Thank you so much for joining me today. It was a little bit of a hodgepodge between having to get cats off my desk and out of closets and whatnot, but it worked out, and hopefully you enjoyed what I had to unbox. I know that you have a choice of who you watch on YouTube, and I am very thankful that you choose to spend just a few minutes of your day with me. Until next time, bye-bye.